So David Dobrik over here thinks he's the king. The only thing this dude is the king of is clickbait and we're tired of it. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So in this video, if you're new here, you're gonna meet a guy named Tough Love Chris. I'm about to drop some tough love on you in this video, but speaking of, speaking of tough love, my beautiful girlfriend just designed some new merch that is up in the shop right now. Boom, look at that. It is available in hoodies and shirts. Tough love right there for you. There's a bunch of different colors. Go check it out. And right now, use the coupon code SOLUTION to get 10% off, all right? And now you're probably like, oh my God, he just used that tough love line just to promote some of his new merch. You're damn right I did. I have a kid to feed. You see that kid right there? It costs money to feed that kid. I also have a cat to feed. Do you see this beautiful little cat named Maya? It costs money to feed this little kitty. But anyways, make sure you stay tuned till the end of the video because I got some more exciting news for you. But yeah, why does everybody hate David Dobrik? That is an interesting question. So David Dobrik, for those of you who don't know, he has a merch line called Clickbait. Clickbait is something that is just fascinating to me. And ever since I became a YouTuber, it is just one of the most interesting topics. So today, we're not actually talking about David Dobrik, we are talking about the beautiful topic of clickbait. So I wanted to do this video because I have a video right now about Illimation blowing up. Like it's gotten like over 100,000 views in the last day, right? And it's titled The Truth About Illimation. And there are so many comments, just so many comments talking about the clickbait of it, right? So as you can see, as you can see, there's so many people, there's so many people who are talking about like what the title implied, like what the title implied, like, and what's, what's fascinating to me and why I'm so interested in mental health and psychology is just the way our mind works. So just to let you know, um, like what my thought process was, when I made this video and I made this title, I was thinking of all the people who were asking these questions like, why didn't Illy do this? Why didn't Illy do that? Why didn't she do this? Right, da, 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 da. So I wanted to bring in psychology and discuss learned helplessness and explain why victims don't do certain things. So that was my thought process. That was my intention. But you see so many people, you see so many people who thought that my intent was to expose Illy. And that is absolutely hilarious to me. So think about it for a second. Think about it for a second. Like this was totally unintended by me, but it's one of the reasons why this video is getting so many views. So the people who think that Illy was lying about this whole thing, they're clicking on the video, thinking that it's going to expose her for something. Then I've gotten a ton of other comments, like these ones on the screen, where a ton of people were jumping to my video, trying to defend her. They were expecting me to talk crap, right? I was actually just talking to Illy in DMs, telling her that she has an amazing fan base because so many people clicked on the video waiting to, uh, ready to defend her, right? So like, one of the justifications that people have, and so many people are like, you should really change the title. You should really change the title. And I'm like, why? Why should I change the title? And some people have replied and said, because, the way it's titled makes people assume that this is going to be an exposed video. I'm like, huh, that's fascinating to me. So since you expect videos on YouTube to be exposed videos, I should change my title. You are out of your mind. Like you gotta understand, everybody's mental filter is different. When you're seeing different words, like I just told you what my intention was and my thought process was behind that title. If you are taking a title in a different way, that is on you, not on me. And this is extremely important. Like, why am I talking about this? Why am I talking about this at all? Because I talk to all of you so often about how you need to quit caring so much what people think. Like, I have come to a place where I accept, I accept the fact that different people are going to take things different way. One of the comments actually said, like, you should change this title because some people might just go by, see this title, think you're talking crap, and not actually watch the video. And I'm like, okay, and how is that my problem? Like, this sounds like pretty, like, terrible. Not, not even terrible, it just sounds like I'm coming off as a jerk, but pff, 
Like, that's just the way it is. Like, in order for me to keep this thing sane, I need to realize that I cannot appease everybody. So this actually happened on another video I did a few weeks ago, and it was called Why I Hate Spill. That video has like 20 or 30,000 views, something like that. And so many people, so many people are saying the same thing about the clickbait title because the video was actually about jealousy and they clicked on it expecting for me to talk a bunch of trash about Spill. But I was really talking about my own jealousy. Think about that. Like whenever I go to the grocery store and I walk past um, you know, the checkout line and there's all those like magazines with all the gossip and all that stuff, I always think I'm like, who the heck buys these things? But you guys, like I watch your guys' behavior all the time and, and people love the drama. People want the drama. People, people want something to defend. People want something to argue over. People wanna expose certain things. Like that is fascinating. So inadvertently, a lot of you are getting ma manipulated because you're getting played by your own emotion. So what's the moral of the story? The moral of this video is that we are people who are constantly getting played left and right by our emotions. You see it on Twitter all the time. You see all this reactionary behavior because people are totally going off of their emotions. And I am here to help you not go so much off of your emotions, but to calm down, be mindful, and make logical decisions so you can respond rather than react. Because I will always say this until the day I die, it is a lot easier for you to fix you than it is to try to fix the rest of the world. So if you think that every YouTuber on the platform is gonna change their titles because you look at the word truth in one way when it was intended in another way and you don't click on the video, that is a little bit ridiculous, all right? So remember, it is a lot easier for you to fix you than it is to think that you're gonna fix the rest of the world. And that is actually one of the chapters in my brand new book, Boom, Rewire Your Anger. So the announcement that I was waiting for until the end of this video, I got a little excited about this new merch design. So check this out. Up until December 25th, up until Christmas, anybody who buys a t-shirt or sweatshirt from the Rewired Soul merch stop, you will get a free copy of this beautiful book, Rewire Your Anger. So the information for how to get your free copy will be down in the description. So if you pick up a sweater or a shirt, boom, you get yourself a free copy of a book, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for you with this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're angry at me for the clickbait, the unintended clickbait, give it a thumbs down. <laughs> But anyways, a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you want to see some more of my content, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And if you're looking for the merch shop, you can click or tap right there. Get yourself some sweet mental health merch. All right. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.